Hello and welcome you all. At times it is very very difficult to answer a question that you are a hard worker and you cannot get a certificate on that. So what if you really mean that you are working hard and you have to put it in words and sentences for the interviewer to believe or anybody to be believed. So after having gone through a, a successful hard work process let me put down some eight tips for how to work hard and here it is staying excited and focused when you are working can have a big impact on productivity and overall success but regardless of how much you love your job we all have days when we need extra motivation some simple motivational strategies can help you do your best and give your work a 100% effort not even 99.9 so in this particular shoot we will discuss different kinds of motivation some specific strategies for how to motivate yourself to work harder and include some bonus tips understanding intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation extrinsic motivation is a form of external motivation it would be another person providing the motivation but it doesn't have to be it could be some kind of outside obligation demand or reward that requires you to complete a task or achieve a goal intrinsic motivation is internal with intrinsic motivation you are pushing towards a goal or the completion of a task for your own personal satisfaction and accomplishment both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation can be beneficial while some studies have indicated that excessive external rewards can reduce intrinsic motivation external rewards have been shown to increase interest in something in which the individual has no interest extrinsic motivation can be used to motivate people to learn new skills that once learned people may be intrinsically motivated to continue pursuing on their own how to motivate yourself to work hard here are a few ideas to motivate yourself to work harder during the day break big goals into small tasks surround yourself with motivated people reward yourself give yourself breaks remember your why stay focused take care of yourself physically start your day with the most important task break big goals into smaller tasks let's understand this while it is important to have big ambitious goals breaking them down into easy to complete tasks can boost your inner morale it will give you a regular feeling of accomplishment and forward momentum that will motivate you to want to check more items of your to do list surround yourself with motivated people the people who you surround yourself with will play a pivotal role in your personal and professional success there's a famous quote by jim ron that says you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with that statement is true for a reason when you surround yourself with coworkers who are doing great things at work they will also inspire you to push harder and do your own job better having peers who inspire you and push you to succeed is crucial make sure the people you are spending your time with are those who balance hard work and leisure reward yourself this is a form of extrinsic motivation even though you are the one who is creating the motivation when you accomplish tasks you don't enjoy or when you reach a big milestone in a project treat yourself not only will this make you feel rewarded for pushing through the task you will also be more motivated to push through the next milestone 
and the accompanying reward. Give yourself breaks. Research shows that you are actually more productive when you take frequent breaks, approximately every 45 to 50 minutes. By remaining laser focused for 45 minutes without letting distractions draw your attention away from your work, you can actually get more done faster. You will also be more motivated knowing you don't have hours of non-stop work on one project without an end in sight. After a short break, you will be refreshed and ready to go again. Remember your why. Few things are more motivating than remembering why you are doing the work. Remembering why you are pushing yourself can provide you with the internal motivation to reach your goals. Whether you are working on a project that has a result you are excited about or whether you simply want to put food on the table for your family, it is important to think about what is motivating you to do the work. Stay focused. Research has proven that interruptions have a powerful impact on productivity, partially because it takes time to refocus your attention on the task at hand and partially because interruptions impact our working memory processes. During your 45 to 50 minutes of focus time, close your email and turn off your phone. Let people know in advance that you won't always be available to respond to email, text and instant messages. Take care of yourself physically. Giving work your all every day requires not only willpower but also physical energy. Make sure you get enough sleep each night. 7 to 9 hours per night is optimum for peak performance at work. Maintain a healthy diet and try to get at least 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week. Start your day with the most important task. If you begin your day with the most important task, even if it is the most challenging or something you don't enjoy, you will feel more productive and more motivated throughout the rest of the day. To accomplish this, it is a good idea to make your daily to-do list in the evening before. By doing so, you will be far more likely to put those unpleasant tasks that need to be completed at the top of your list and by accomplishing them at the beginning of your day, you will feel successful. So here it is. Now we know that there are 8 tips. We have known each and every very closely while I was laying it down for you. Now the basic thing is we want to work hard. We want to be qualitative. We want to be result oriented. We want to get noticed. We want to get increment. We want to get promotions. How do we get it? Unless we are meticulously working on our processes. All those details which are required focus and attention quintessentially needs to be worked upon. It is not enough that you put something on the to-do list and maybe think of doing it after some time. So the best way is always choose a difficult work to start with and accomplish it in the span of the day much before or maybe at the fag end of the day which gives you that kind of a feeling that kind of a sense of accomplishment or an achievement and what is life all about it is while you are doing it in your personal life you feel very happy and share the moment with the family when it comes to your professional world it is your professional work getting noticed not only by your peer but also by the bosses that you work with. So whether the motivation is extrinsic or intrinsic, you need to be very, very clear what motivates you. And if that factor is identified, then put to work. And if you are putting that consciously and getting focus on it, I'm very sure that nobody stops you from escalating heights. What is hard work is beyond our understanding of extrinsic and intrinsic motivation of ours and let it be always that self-control which is driving you and always making you to do that work and not looking at outside. 
if you are wanting to have a self control over your work and your entire conduct be it personal or professional i think you need to drive within from and not look something from the outside this video is only helping you to make your understanding better and if you have understood who stopping you to march ahead go ahead progress be productive constructive and contributing hope you have learned the lesson nice away best wishes for your preparation thank you